the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. The teams then, Lazio against Apoel. My name's Peter Drury, and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here, it really is. We've just been given. Away. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? I'm going to go for Antonio Candreva because he brings a dynamism to proceedings, fast and direct. He'll engage his fullback in a sprint or two and he can whip in pacey crosses. Not the kind to stand off and allow him to shoot either because he can whack it with the very best. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. Nazi. He's made sure that that won't get through. Keita. With the ball through. Dumps it on the volley. Not this time. Yeah, they had lots of options in the box there. They've got plenty to chew on at the moment, but no bite. And it's Djordjevic. Onazi. Now the pass. Goal! Lazio! And Lazio score first! Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things. Just put your foot through it and that was a good example. Great contact and the keeper had very little chance. Lazio take the lead. Look, we know they're in control now, but they can't let their concentration drop, not one bit. So they got the only goal to make it 1 0. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Played out to the wing. Now it's Basta. Onazi needed to come up with a better ball. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right. But importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off. Filip Djordjevic pushes it out wide. It's Keita! Good movement there, but not the best of finishes. Oh, they really wanted that. There's so many players in the box. Everyone's committed to attack now. And to the final five minutes of the first half. Played it early. Shakes the shoots. The outcome could so easily have been different. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so there wasn't much chance of success. Can 
and Trevor. Carolo tries to route one option. And that'll be the last act of the first half. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball, the passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Lazio leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Lazio, carry a one goal. He scores! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! Jim, your thoughts? Keita has been menacing, and when you get a defence that's beginning to look a little bit disjointed, then he's exactly the type of character that's going to punish you, and he did exactly that. Lazio can have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. it out they really are proving themselves to be solid all over the field gets it upfield everything they would have spoken about in that dressing room during the break has a greater chance of happening thanks to the early goal it's the perfect platform now to go on and, and try to win it Lazio get dipped into their subs. Aimed long and direct. Keita. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Parolo. Something was physical, no nonsense. And it had to be. Fine defending there. Puts it forwards. Djordjevic! Oh, what a hit! What a hit! Oh, it really is a finish of the highest order. And the lead is three. It is surely done. Well, no goalkeeper would keep that out. It really was a bullet. Yeah, I just thought he made great use of his upper body there. It would have taken something really special to keep that out. And he's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Well, look as though they're about to make a change. Lazio take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. For a moment, you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Barolo doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Parolo. Keita passes it through. <laughs> 
surely this will be the last chance. Oh, he's come up against the brick wall there. Basta. Who's going to make this theirs? Goes long. Perullo. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Lazio, a class apart. Opponents torn apart. They are comprehensive winners. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Well, tactically, they looked as if they got that spot on. I think when you push up at the back to the extent they did, then there must be a pressure on the ball ahead of things. Otherwise, your whole system is going to break down. And I think there was, there was a good discipline about what they did, really, in affecting that. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.